put this in first, I'm going to cut the other piece to cover the cracks in this. Obviously, you can't go in in one piece. We already discussed that. Uh, I'll cut this, fit it in there, fit it around, put my ducts in, and then uh, put the heat element in and seal it up. This is for my clubhouse. It's a solar heater, and uh, I'm helping my dad make it at his shop. So next time we make it. Okay. All right, here we are, just finishing up Brandon's little project for his clubhouse. Put the last little pieces on. We're going to go out and do some testing with it, and just see how one of these things works. And then, as he's finishing that, we have the other one here. Unfortunately, I got busy this week and didn't have a lot of time to work with it. But it's Sunday, and we're devoting today to finishing these up. We'll take them out, sunshine, see how they work. On this one, basically all we did is we took just uh, metal wall stud material and made the framework. We used a sliding shower glass door for the glass. We even left the frame on it, the aluminum frame. Put weather stripping around. We caulked and sealed everything inside with one inch foam. And um, take it out and give it a try. I have a very cool clubhouse and uh, you know with the winter coming on, and it might not be so fun you know, being frozen in there. So I started looking around, finding out a way to be environmentally friendly and get heat at the same time. So I found this idea from some aluminum cans, but I thought that I could make it even better. So I talked my dad into helping me build this and uh, this is what turned out, and you know, that's, that's pretty much it. And we're going to keep on updating you on how this works out and what to do. Okay? Bye. One thing that we kind of did different than what a lot of the ones on the Internet have mm -hmm. is we made bigger inlet and outlet. A lot of them use just a real small little tube or pipe, and then they show a temperature of, 170 or 180 degrees or 200 degrees. That's not what I feel you're really looking for. Ours went up to 120 plus degrees in a short period of time, but with a lot of airflow. We're looking at, at heating an area. We don't need a small amount of 200 degree air coming out. What we want is we want a big volume of, of 90 or 100 degree air. Now, I don't know what this is going to do. We've had temperatures down, you know, in the freezing already. And then we get it done, go out to test today, and uh, the temperature's up to 60 degrees. So I don't know what it's going to do when it gets really cold, but if it can move 80 or 90 degree air constantly through his clubhouse, that's all we, we're really looking for. So I think bigger inlet and outlet is probably the way to go. As you can see, the outside temperature right now is, oh, about 44, 45 degrees. And uh, we're going to see what it gets up to just putting it up here under the panel. We don't have our ducks in yet or even the outside painted black. We'll see what it'll do. See, the temperature's getting on up there. Unfortunately, can't tell from this, but clouds have moved in. We just set it up here to do some testing. But it was up well over 130 before the clouds moved in. 
Okay, basically there's the hole in the wall for the new solar heater. That's the bottom hole. That's the top hole. I've got a little head of you on this one. And that's the vent that will go through that hole and out to the heater. Now let's check it out outside. All right, here's the outside. Got that top vent coming through right there. Bottom vent will come through right there. It'll stand off from the wall. Used to be an air conditioner right there. Have to fix the siding later. And then. Well, here we have the finished product. Um, this is it. You, you know, I showed you in the shop how we put the thing together. Um, very basic on putting it in the in the wall. I mean, that was just normal stuff. We uh, cut holes in the wall and we hung it on the wall. Uh, we're going to see how it works. You know, luckily we have a really nice sunny day um, to test it. Unfortunately, this is the end of November and it would normally be freezing cold and it's a beautiful day out, close to 60 degrees. Um, but it gives us a little bit to go on. We got cold weather coming. We're going to set these up. We're going to put another one on the wall right over here one on the wall right back over there and we're going to test them out all winter so we'll have good data to go by. We're going to try and set these up um, where we can ship them and we're going to start offering these for sale. We're setting up a new website called skyray.us and on that website we're going to offer these without the glass because that way we can we can crunch them in, we can package them real small and make it very efficient, you know, cheap to ship. You get it, you pull it apart, put a few screws in it, put your own piece of glass in ready to go. We're going to go inside. We're going to see what the temperature is. Coming out inside, we tested it earlier. It was about 130 degrees, but the sun wasn't up fully. It was a little bit foggy out. We're going to go test it again. I'm sure it's much, much hotter now. You can't hardly put your hand on it. But uh, this is it. We're, uh, we're in it for a test. And like I said, we're going to put a couple more on the wall before winter. And that way we'll have all this winter to give data. And if it works out good, then like I said, we're going to offer them for sale may not work, may not be worth it, may not be any savings at all, and not even worth doing. If so, we'll tell you on the website it's not worth buying or taking your time to make. But like I said, we have the facilities to do it. Um, it's a project I've kind of wanted to do. Here it is, and like I said, this is the finished product. So we'll go from here and uh, see what happens. I don't know how well you can tell with this right here. As you can see, we don't have real good, clear, sunny skies. Got clouds drifting by. So it's not the greatest day for testing. We'll see what it gets up to. Now it's up over 170 degrees. Sun's been out for a little bit. And climbing, as you can see it going up. Amazing, sun comes out, temperature goes up. Here's a little test. You can see it just sucks the fire right in. All right. And you can see, this is without a fan, it's just about to blow the lighter out. Well, it looks like just over 180 degrees, just like I showed you with kind of hit and miss sunshine, a little bit of high clouds. Gets a little burst of just clear sunshine, it jumps right up into the 180s. So it is definitely, definitely putting out some heat. We'll just keep track of it through the winter. There may be a week where it does nothing. We'll see if it actually does any good.